What's up, people? I'm Hansel Gonzalez, and um, this is my uh, YouTube channel, uh, Moho Fishing 101. Um, I'm changing the uh, anodes uh, inside the engine um, in between the cylinders, and I also learned that there's one on the side. So these engines is uh, the 150 horsepower um, 2011 Yamahas. So I wanna show you guys real quick here. I got some tools out already, so let me get this out of the way. Um, if you remove this plastic cover right here, it covers, uh, you know, the cylinders, you know, your spark plugs and stuff like that. So this is a very simple too. It's just a matter of, you know, pulling and that's what you get. So, you can see you got your you know your spark plug wires and then inside there you got your spark plug um this right here is the anodes in between the cylinders see down right there so a lot of times people don't realize that they're there um i have a few friend of mine that uh, they have like mercury's and stuff like that and um for what i've been told um, some of the Mercury's, maybe the you know the models that they have, they don't have those anodes. Well, <clears throat> in this Yamaha's is paramount. You change those anodes at least once a year, okay? And I'll show you guys why. Um, I already replaced those two yesterday. Same thing with my other engine. I replaced those two, but I learned that on the side over here, there's another one, which is this guy right here. So I already removed the screw. There's a screw right here, which is a, uh, a 12 millimeter that goes in there. And then um, there's the other screw right here. So once you take this, once you take this screw out, you can just remove this right here, and this is what you get. That's the anode right there. So that screw, which is a 10 millimeter. Uh, on, uh, screws in the back of this so let me see if I can show you guys how to remove that real quick it's uh, pretty simple and um, I'll show you guys real quick all right guys so this is this is the way I do it I grab I grab uh, a pair of pliers and I hold the anode like this and then I grab my 10 millimeter and unscrew it. Like I said, this one is, I already started it. So as you can see, the screw is coming right out perfectly. So this is the screw that holds the anode. And just wiggle it a little bit in here because it might be, you know, frozen in there. So this one, it is pretty frozen in there. wiggle a little bit in there and it should come right off you, you guys can see all the corrosion all the corrosion on the anode so that's why it's important to do this once a year so all of this is the electromagnetic created by the water inside the cylinder head and all the salt it'll attached to this that way it doesn't get attached to your cylinder heads and stuff like that so wherever the salt water runs through so you know get that out of there and then what you want to do is there's a little seal this right here you can actually remove this seal you can reuse it you just clean it pretty good make sure it's not cracked or anything like that make sure it's still nice and flexible and uh, you want to clean all that corrosion out of there before you put the old one in, before you put the new one in. So the deal is to, you know, probably get it like a wire brush or something like that. Um, you know, if you can get something that you can just scrape, you know, you can just scrape the, uh, the corrosion out of there. Um, where it's a knife, you know, like a, like a blade or something. Um, that should be sufficient so the end result you can you can obtain it in any different ways whether it's a wire brush or something like that so 
Um, all you need is make sure that all that corrosion, you know, is gone before you put the new one in there. You can grab a rag. more trying to get the uh, as much as preventive maintenance I can do in order to get the boat ready uh, for the keys getaway a couple days that I'm gonna be down there so um, this is gonna be my first time with this boat down in the keys hopefully the weather is good <laughs> um, Anyhow, so this is this is the okay. That looks pretty clean. No corrosion at all. All right. So the next step is the next step is I'm going to get a little bit of a uh, grease, marine grease. Let me show you guys the difference between the new one and the old one. See all that corrosion? Brand new one. So, what I like to do is, before I put the screw in into the anode and the anode base, I like to use a little bit of um, marine grease. Could be this, it could be any marine grease of your preference. This is the, what I like the most. So, you just uh, get a little tab, dab of grease about that much and then just put it over that screw obviously we're dealing with uh, you know salt you know corrosion salt water and stuff like that so um, you don't want none of these screws break inside the cylinder head um, that will be that will be a bad day so <clears throat> All right, so you put the gasket back in the in there. Back in there, you can put a little bit, just a, just a little bit of a, of a film of a little bit of a grease in there. That way when it gets into the cavity, you know, it slides in there with uh, any trouble. And then you just, you know, put in your new anode in there. You know, you grab your screw. Right in there. There you go. Grab your ten millimeter. You can probably use this better. You can do it better with the ratchet, but this will work the same way. So get it on there and then just grab your pliers. That way you can do a, you know, a nice firm uh, tightness. Doesn't have to be like, you know, very tight. Um, just make sure that it's enough. That way it doesn't, doesn't fall. So there you go. I feel pretty good. All right, now we're gonna come over here and we're gonna go ahead and insert it back in there. All right, so it sits just like that. Then you're gonna grab the screw that holds that, uh, the, the base, the anode base in place, and also add some grease in here. Like I said, you know, this is, this is dealing with corrosion, you know, salt water, especially for salt water people. If you're fresh water, Eh, okay, I can see that you know you don't have to really do this, you know. But I believe uh, the rule of thumb is make sure it's nice and lubricated. So put it in there, give it a few turns by hand, 
as much as you can. All right. Grab the uh, 12 millimeter socket. And then just tighten it. Doesn't have to be very, very, very tight. Just enough, you know, give it a good, very nice, snug. Nice, tight, snug, not super tight. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is how those anodes, uh, they get replaced. Uh, once again, you have two back here in between the four cylinders. Uh, once again, this is the 150 Yamaha. So you got one on top, one on the bottom, and you got one over here on the side, on the side of the block, uh, right, ne right next to the oil filter. So, this concludes this, uh, uh, you know, uh, video on how to replace those anodes. Um, I know there is not many of, of these uh, videos out there, especially specifically to these engines. So there you have it. I hope that you like the little video and um, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, there's more of this maintenance stuff that is uh, coming uh, on my YouTube channel as well. I do all the maintenance on these motors. I do pretty much all the maintenance on my boat. So obviously YouTube is a great source to find out how to do things. So once I found things and I do it myself, then I'll post it for you guys. And um, that way you guys can, can do it as well. You can save a little money here and there. All right, thank you very much for watching and um, God bless you and more videos to come. Click the notification button, please. That way you can get notified on my next video. God bless. Adios.